In this video session, we are going to write a recursive function to calculate nth term of Fibonacci series. So, what is a recursive function is um, a function which has a call to itself from within its own body. So, this uh, video session is going to deal just with uh, recursive function for Fibonacci series. And if you want to know more theory about uh, recursion, then you should either go through a book or should look into videos uh, which are more, uh, which deals with theory of recursion. Here we are going to write a recursive function to calculate any term of Fibonacci series. Before uh, going ahead and writing the code, we would first you know, attempt to give a recursive definition of uh, nth term of Fibonacci series. So let me take you to my notes and then give you a recursive definition of calculating nth term of the series. So I have to wait for a while till I get my digital pen. Yeah, so here we go. So any term of uh, Fibonacci series, first let me tell you what is a Fibonacci series. So starting with 0 and 1, these are two um, smallest terms of the Fibonacci series. Starting with this, we can calculate the next term by adding this 2 up. So 0 plus 1 is 1. Then to get the next term, again we would add this 2 terms, 1 plus 1 is 2. To get next term, the last two terms would be added 1 plus 2 is 3 likewise this Fibonacci sequence grows 2 plus 3 is 5 8 like that right so any term of the series any term of the series is equals to the summation of last two terms so 8 is 3 plus 5 then 5 is 2 plus 3 like that fine so from here we get a clue of uh, how uh, the recursive definition would be written. So let us write the recursive definition. And the recursive part of the recursive de definition would be like this. So let's say FIBO of n represents n term of the Fibonacci series. So nth term of Fibonacci series is summation of n minus 1th term plus n minus 2th term of the series. And the basis of the recursive definition would be like this. So basis or base cases of the recursive definition is the first term of the series is 0 and we have another base case here the second term of the series is 1. So these are the two base cases we have uh, in this problem and this is the recursive part of the definition. Now we would convert this recursive definition into a uh, a recursive function. So let me take you to the ID again. So the recursive function that we are going to write, it is supposed to return us the nth term of the series and it would be an integer. So the return data type of the recursive definition would be recursive function would be int and let us call it as FIBO and it is going to take as parameter the position of the uh, term that we want to return. So n represent the position of the term that we want to return. Now first of all we will deal with the base cases. So if n is 1 that is if the position uh, that is given by the user is 1 then we are going to uh, do nothing but to return 0 because the knowledge of it is already there with us so if n is equals to 0 then sorry n is equals to 1 
that is the first term of the series is 0 and the second term of the series so this is the second base case is 1 so if you see I have not written an else even then the code would behave exactly the same way uh, when a if condition has got a return or exit in it there is no need of giving an else uh, but in other cases where we do not have any uh, exit or return statement within if block uh, it might be efficient to give else or might be logically correct to get give else over here but that is a topic of some other video for the time being let us uh, concentrate on um, the current problem at hand so we have done we have written the code for the base cases now the recursive part of it so the recursive part of the recursive definition is this that Fibonacci uh, n is equals to Fibonacci n minus 1 plus Fibonacci n minus 2 so this part can be directly converted into uh, the code because we have written it in a way that it is very apparent that what would be the uh, recursive part of the uh, function so Fibonacci of n so here um, the n term of Fibonacci series can be uh, can be uh, calculated by adding up n minus 1 term and n minus 2 term now um, n term of the Fibonacci series can be calculated by making a call to Fibo with a value n likewise to calculate n minus 1 term we can make a call to n minus 1 term so Fibo n minus 1 term n minus 1 is going to return us the n minus 1 term and with that if we add Fibo of n minus 2 then we are going to get the Fibo of n that is the n term of the series and this is what we are going to return from the function so it's that simple so it's very simple and we are done with this uh, recursive uh, function which would be evaluating the n term of the series now we we'll prompt the user to enter n that is the position of which he the user wants to know the term so enter n and then we'll have to declare a variable in which we want to store the user input percent d comma and percent n now we we'll display the nth term of the series the person dth term of Fibonacci sequence sequence is person d and we replace the first of the person d's with the value of n and the second of them with the value of Fibo of n. So this is the function call which would return us the nth term of the series and uh, that uh, value would be replacing the second person d. Now before making a call to Fibo we can declare the prototype of Fibo here in code blocks id it is not a mandatory thing to declare a prototype in many cases but few of the cases it is mandatory we'll talk about it later but now we are done with this code and let us run it and test it with few of the test cases so enter n let us get the fifth term fifth term is indeed 3 so fifth term is 3 that is correct 
let us test it with some other cases seventh term seventh term is eight so it is also correct and then let us test the base cases if it's working fine for base cases or not so the first term is zero correct and the second term except a little bit of uh, you know um, changes in means abnormality in the english it is correct the 2th term of the fibonacci sequence is 1 so with that we are done with a recursive function for fibonacci uh, calculating any term of fibonacci sequence so hope you have enjoyed this video i am going to upload such videos uh, often so keep watching my videos and keep liking them so that I keep motivated to um, upload such videos um, in multitude. Thank you. Thanks.